The Fall Guy was one of my most anticipated films for this summer. I got a chance to check it out early, and I am here to tell you why The Fall Guy is my new obsession and truly is the perfect summer movie blockbuster. There's so many layers to this movie, and there's so many things that really feels like this movie was just made for someone like me, someone who's obsessed with filmmaking, but also just wants a highly entertaining movie to go and watch at the movie theaters. And while on the surface of it all, it is a brand new action romantic comedy. And if you take it just for its surface level, that is exactly what it is. But layered through layered it out, it is a love letter to stuntmen, stunt coordinators, and the entire stunt community, and the people who deserve a bigger spotlight when it comes down to making movies. Because so many action films, and not even just action, but so many films that feature stunt people, if we didn't have them, we wouldn't get so many glorious moments in film. And I really love how much this film shined a light on that, and at the same time, shined a humorous light at the film community itself. And I think David Leach, who I have been a pretty, pretty big fan of, I like his films, I think this is hands down his best movie yet. And I think if you've liked his previous movies, you're probably going to love this one. And if you've just eh, you thought his films were okay, you're probably going to really like this one. This is just one of those instantly likable films that I am so excited to talk about. Again, my new obsession. So make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe. And if you don't know what The Fall Guy is about, well, The Fall Guy is about after leaving the business one year earlier, a battle-scarred stuntman, Colt Seavers, springs back into action when the star of a big studio movie suddenly disappears. As the mystery surrounding the missing actor deepens, Colt soon finds himself ensnared in a sinister plot that pushes him to the edge of a fall more dangerous than any stunt. It's again, directed by David Leach, stars Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, Winston Duke, Aaron Taylor Johnson, so many people. And to kind of just jump into this, the main thing I really want to start talking about with this film is how smart and satirical it really is. And in a way, it is very meta, but not in a meta way where it's cringy. It's a meta way where if you, the easiest way to kind of like compare it is to Tropic Thunder, where I love that. Tropic Thunder is personally for me my favorite comedy of all time and I love how that film is like a movie being made within a movie and like they make fun of so many different things actors directors studios producers and in a way the fall guy is able to touch on that but also not in a snarky way they're able to tell it in a loving manner and show how important stunt people are and every single layer of that I thought was clever I also thought it was clever with the movie that they were making in this in universe is very much a snark at Dune, but I love that it is that snark at Dune and the way that they play off that aspect and even how it kind of parallels to our main two characters relationship and how that comes off as well. Even though it's this big, funny sci-fi epic that Emily Blunt is directing in this movie, you can see the relationship between the two main characters in that film and how it pairs to this. Even one thing that a producer mentions in this is like, you know, when I make these films, it's always one big metaphor right in the middle, all wrapped right into here. It's kind of what David did here as a director, is that while this is one big film that's an action romantic comedy on the surface level, it's that love letter for the stuntmen. And those little meta jokes and those little meta humor, just, I ate it all up. And I love that as someone who loves film can appreciate that. And I can even see others who maybe aren't the biggest fans of film or maybe the biggest studiers of it going and watching this film and appreciating it for that surface level stuff, but also being able to dive in and kind of notice what they're doing. And again, can't say enough how much I loved all those aspects. Jumping in a little bit more from there, just to kind of get away from the meta-ness, th this film is just completely entertaining top to bottom from the opening scene to the very last stay after the credits there's a very very funny thing at the very end of it like right after they show this montage of some great stunt choreograph and i i loved it i loved it none of the jokes ever felt stale they always kept consistently running through and always had a smile on my face, always had me laughing and always found myself being entertained. This is the definition of having a fucking blast at the movies. And I am so happy to say that the Fall Guy succeeds in that. And specifically one thing that I have actually criticized David in the past of, really happy to see what he accomplished in Atomic Blonde and Bullet Train when it comes down to action. But some films I've always felt that the action just feels a little bit either too much or not enough. 
and Fall Guy finally really gives me some damn good stunts. Makes sense that like we would have some of the best stunts. In fact, one of the stunts in here actually broke a world record. I referenced that in the movie itself and it was cool to see it referenced in the movie and as well, if you go and look it up in real life, it was referenced in real life and really did happen. The action in here is top notch. The hand to hand fist fights, all the funny little things and the way that they use stunt men. Cause you see like Ryan Gosling, you're like, this is just stunt guy, but he is is the badass behind the scenes making these stunts work on the movies so when he actually has to fight someone who knows how to fight he's gonna know what to do even if he's using a prop gun yes a prop gun filled with blanks he's gonna know what to do with it it's those little things that again make every moment entertaining the film's never too overly serious it's never always heavy it always makes you and brings you in but at the center of it like I mentioned, it might be a love letter. It's also a romantic comedy. And a romance and a romantic comedy really needs to work. Not just due to the chemistry, which Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt absolutely have, but their relationship, you have to build upon it. You have to instantly fall in love with them. And you have to want them to get back together, specifically when you meet them at a point when they are broken up. And the entire time, instantly when they reunite for the first time very early on in the film, you want them to fall back in love. Just from the small little subtle dialogue, you can see where the two characters are coming from and you want them to make it work out. And there's constant scenes that build and build upon this. One that's a split screen scene with both of them acting in two different locations and the play on dialogue in there was just top notch. But again, added to this, alongside that there's one where she just keeps making him do these same stunt over and over and over again and it all ties back into their relationship. Watch this film with my wife and I would look over at her and she's smiling, I'm smiling, she'd laugh at the same thing, I'd laugh at the same thing, and the second we got in the car, we just consistently kept talking about all these fun moments. And it's one of those films that you just have to experience. And again, it is the perfect date movie, also the perfect movie to kick off the summer. Got a little bit of everything, and I think that's where David really accomplished something great here. Finalize a couple other things. Yes, Ryan Gosling is great. I think this actually might be one of my favorite roles, probably top five, and that's saying a lot specifically because of how many great roles he's had, whether it's in First Man, Crazy Stupid Love, of course you look at the likes of La La Land, and what he did last year within Barbie, it's right up there with him. You also look at Emily Blunt, who is just irresistible in here. You can see why he fell in love with her, and she plays such a great piece in here. And Taylor Johnson is such a douche in here, and I adored it. I loved it. He was funny. I wish there was a little bit more of him. I always mispronounce his name, but Hannah Waddingham. I loved her in Ted Lasso. Thought she was a lot of fun in here. And Winston Duke, yes, finally so happy to see him again in a movie. I feel like, like, ever since Us, like, he hasn't gotten that limelight, that stardom, and he absolutely should because he shines in every moment in here as well. And to mention this right off the top, the film that they're making in the movie is called Metal Storm, and while it is definitely Definitely a riff and play off Dune. I highly, highly wish this is that's exactly what I wanted Rebel Moon to be. Now I'm even more disappointed in Rebel Moon. Honestly, if you're just looking for a great time at the movies, the fall guy is that. It's my new obsession. An incredibly entertaining action rom-com that rocked my world. I cheered, I laughed, I smiled, and most of all, I had a fucking blast, as I mentioned. The perfect movie to kick off the summer season. Gosling and Blunt are everything. I'm not joking when I say this, give me 10 more. I will actually lose. I will lose hope in the movie going community if you do not go and support The Fall Guy. It's again, on the surface, a fun action rom-com and a perfect date movie and a perfect movie to kick off the summer season, but it's also a love letter to the stunt community. It's a love letter to filmmaking, and it's a love letter to, again, an aspect of filmmaking that we really do not pay attention to too much. And again, that is shined on, as well as the Oscars, who still have not given credit in an awards. They even mentioned that in this movie. Really, the Fall Guy was everything I wanted it to be and more. I think a lot of people are gonna be truly obsessed with it just as much as I am, so with all that said, I'm gonna give this movie an A. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Go check out Into the Geek Geekverse on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. That's my brand new podcast. One new episode a month for different topics all around. And other than that, guys, thank you so much again for watching this. And, of course, until next time, stay classy.